Brace yourselves, readers, as Prince Harry's recent antics could rival a thriller storyline rather than that of a royal reunion. According to insider sources in the know-how, rumors suggest that Harry and Meghan are concocting yet another controversial memoir sequel. The previous book divulged more inside information on royalty than an inept cook spilling beans non-stop. Hold on, there's more to the story. Or it could be worse news if you're loyal to a specific side. Guess what Harry's brilliant scheme is? He plans on using this proposed sequel as an instrument of manipulation in his devious plan for royal blackmail against King Charles. How tasteful and noble of him. It looks like Harry, who currently resides in sunny California, longs for the icy grip of the UK, perhaps just its resources and influence from within the monarchy that he used to enjoy before leaving. He has trimmed the world's lengthiest memoir and wants to share the remaining content. However, there's a catch. Tom Quinn, who is privy to royal secrets, states that it isn't simply about divulging more of Harry's tale, but rather a strategic ploy aimed at forcing Charles into making concessions through veiled intimidation tactics. Can you imagine Harry proposing? Your monarchy is lovely, father. It would be a shame if spare too. The revenge were to wreck it. What's his goal? To reintegrate into the royal lifestyle on terms that are impractical and amusingly idealistic for him and Meghan. While King Charles and Princess Catherine fight their own battles in real life, Harry longs for a fairy tale conclusion where he partners with Hollywood perfected Meghan to resume their royal obligations. However, we must not overlook Meghan's role in this matter. Some refer to her as the Duchess of Dollars and apparently, she is contemplating writing a memoir. Is it necessary for there to be more content about Sussex? At the same time, some are skeptical of Meghan's recent project, the American Riviera Orchard, which may simply be a way for her to make money by packaging commonplace stories with cozy jam and cutlery themes. This situation involves a couple who made a commitment to the late queen that they wouldn't use their titles for commercial gain. However, Meghan seems to be branding everything she can with the Duchess of Sussex, except perhaps lemonade stands. It appears Harry's strategy to redeem himself in royal circles involves publishing an unsubtle book sequel, akin to having a marching band play loudly inside a library. The royal family, especially Charles and William, are faced with the challenging task of handling a couple whose aspirations have no limits. The pending release of Harry's expose poses a threat to the palace like an impending storm that cannot be avoided. It is impressive how daring their actions are despite it all. The ongoing narrative of Harry and Meghan shows no signs of slowing down, with each episode seemingly more daring than the last. It's uncertain if their current storyline will come to fruition, or if it is simply another part of their propensity for bombshell revelations. What remains clear is that neither the royal family nor society as a whole needs any further upheaval from this pair.